good thing I was able to reach you guys. The whole thing moved so fast I almost didn't connect the dots in time. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Shade, right? Don't worry about it. I made a promise to Bane to watch your backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. You saved us. whoop de doo What the fuck happened? Wankers tried to snuff us all. That's what fucking happened. It was carefully planned. All the attacks happened at the same time. And they froze our accounts. I checked. We're broke. All of us. It's a conspiracy theory. Well, it's happening. So it's an actual conspiracy. Motherfuckers. Whoever did this is extremely well connected. And you've pissed off more than a few powerful people over the years. I'll start digging, but it's gonna take some time. What happened to the others? I reached out to everyone, but I only got through to the five of you. <sighs> so much for retirement. We're gonna need cash to get back at these assholes. I've got the perfect job to get you started. And I got you some supplies. Check the crate behind you. Lady, I like you already. Alright, enough talking. Let's get to work. This is a good start, but we need a bigger war chest. Where are we gonna stash it, since offshore accounts are rubbish these days? Yeah, the banks gave out account details like candy after the international law changes. There's an encrypted currency inside CrimeNet called C-Stacks. It's not perfect, but it should do for now. Any word from the others? It's gonna be hard to do this with just the five of us. About that, I want to introduce you to someone. Meet Pearl, expert infiltrator and con artist. And certified ass kicker. Place to meet you. You're the one that pulled that $10 million hustle on Harvest and Trustee. Allegedly. Welcome to the Payday Gang. You want to tell me where we're going? We did some work for one of the San Francisco triads a while ago. Triads, huh? Sounds like they've got something new for us. Figured we'd take the meeting. Who's the contact? Let's do some business. Y'all know anything about this shade? I know she was mates with Bane. Ran crime night servers and whatnot. Dallas knows her from before. As long as she keeps the jobs coming, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. So what you do for retirement? Oh, it's kind of a blur, man. I'm just glad it's over. Started to go crazy. I <laughs> started to. You've always been bonkers, lad. How's it going? Just more dead ends. Whoever these people are, they know how to cover their tracks. And they've got serious resources. I still have a few more cards up my sleeve, but we need cash to keep on pushing. Already on it. I've reached out to an old friend. Speak of the devil. What the fuck? They're supposed to be dead. We sent our best operatives. I expect they made a mistake of thinking retirement made the target soft. You know, well, your best operatives suck balls. And how can they be looking for us? You said we took all their money. We did. They made more money. It's not rocket science, Ralph. Can we send another strike team? No. We don't have the element to surprise anymore. They've made preparations. I suggest we do the same. Cool. How? I have some safeguards in mind. Those no good motherfucking monkey shits! Try to kill my friends, huh? Yeah, and they froze all our assets! Shameless mother of whore super huilo. If I ever get my hands on them. Yeah, yeah, alright, we appreciate it. But what we really need is a lead on a job. Do you have anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, yes! Yes, I do! So, you're a proper New Yorker then? Yep. Born downtown, grew up in the Bronx. Ran a crew there for a while. Not still a thing? No. We were betrayed. The whole team wiped out overnight. Sounds familiar. From Shade. Time to roll. We just had a breakthrough. 
The conspirators are based right here in the city, but it looks like they're extremely well connected. Maybe all the way up to President McKendrick. Like that's gonna stop us. Do we have enough to make a move? Not yet, but we're homing in. In the meantime, I got a call from an old friend of mine, a guy called Beckett. He's got a job for us. What are we stealing? They're closing in. Are the preparations in place? I did my part. Huh? Yeah, sure. Good. Good. Then this is the last time we meet in person. Agreed. Sir? Perhaps it's best to postpone the deal. That technology- Are you high? I dumped everything I have left into this deal. It's happening. End of fucking story. I've reviewed the data trail on your frozen accounts. One name sticks out. Patricia J. Shark. Big time banker with political aspirations. She's also a major shareholder in Gensec. It's safe to say you pissed her off somewhere along the line. Let's pay her bank a little visit. And before you ask, Wolf, no, we're not gonna kill her. Come on! Just a little bit? No. We're going after what she values most. Her reputation. Anyone capable of burning you the way she did is playing with a stacked deck. Also, she's not alone in this. We need more information to get to the bottom of this conspiracy. So what about the Dosh? Oh yeah. We're gonna clean the place out. It's the right setup, but we're missing an encryption key. So who has one of those? I don't know. This design is borderline sci-fi shit. Reminds me of stuff I've seen from Murky Water. Didn't we put those private military shitheads out of business? <laughs> like we just did with Ralphie. Yeah, they filed for bankruptcy years ago. But somebody connected to them could be the final conspirator. I'll ask around. You know... If we could apply this tech to sea stacks, it'll make them completely untouchable. I was thinking the same thing. We just need that key. I'll be real. This motherfucker's the last one I'd expect to have murky connections. He's been in business a long time, and he knows how to network. Who are we talking about? Howdy, y'all. It's been a spell since that thing in Texas. New blood, I see. <laughs> Name's Blaine Keegan. Pleasure. Likewise. Now about this murky water business. It just so happens I ran into someone a while back. Mason Laurent. Nasty sort of fella. Ex-military, ex-CIA, ex-various PMC outfits. Including murky water. Nowadays he's into cybersecurity. I had a meeting with him and took a gander at his security software. Looked an awful lot like the tech you're fixing to crack. Heard the Yankee bastard, no offense, has a penthouse in the city. If I were a gambling man, I'd say your best bet to find one of them encryption keys was to pay him a visit. If he developed the tech, he's the brains behind the conspiracy. This is it, people. Let's go. I've leaked the stuff we got from Shark servers. Feels good. And I checked the C stacks. New encryptions airtight. Nobody's touching our money again. Now we just need some motherfucking dollar bills to put that shit to the test. What's next? I say we find something worth stealing. And then we steal it. Yeah, we're back. Go on for Bob. What he said. Cheers. In breaking news, business mogul Patricia Shark is facing allegations of bank fraud and even possible corruption charges following the discovery of several leaked Shut documents. Up. Bastards. No. God, no! Is it done?